Hello there, I'm Yash and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I assume you all have basic knowledge of terminal commands and you already have installed CocoaPods. So today I will be addressing the problem of keyboard hiding the text field. So let's get started. Uh, here I have already created this project uh, and I have named it IQ Keyboard Manager and I will just, uh, okay, I'll show you my storyboard first. So this is a text view, uh, which has like unlimited lines of text editing and uh, we can view it as well. And I have two text fields. So for the last text field, I'll give it some placeholder. Let's say your name and hit enter. Uh, it, it has its application in the end. So or when we will be customizing the module, which we get from CocoaPods. But anyways, let's run the application and see how it looks. And uh, the main the main thing to notice here is the problem. So I'll I'll click here to type in something. Uh, if you don't get this keyboard, the hardware keyboard on the simulator, you can hit Command K for keyboard. Command K. Okay. So uh, for now, let let me just quickly uh, copy this text and paste it here. So I'll paste it. And uh, we can still see the blinker, uh, I mean our cursor position, but now if I post, uh, paste it, we don't see the cursor position, okay? Uh, even if you scroll, like you can still see the cursor position, but you cannot really see what you're typing. So this is a big, uh, really big problem, a uh, really big UI defect. So uh, let's quickly run the application once again and uh, select the lowest, text field so I select here and let's say if I'm typing my name here but I cannot see what is really being typed there so let's try to fix it uh, you you can actually logically solve the problem by yourself but it's quite difficult so we will be using one of the coca pods module which is uh, I can show you so let's type coca pods in Google and click on the first link which says cocapods.org and here will, I will be searching for IQ Keyboard Manager and click on IQ Keyboard Manager Swift. So this changes a lot and quite often. So I suggest you do go to this website and uh, just go, go through all this stuff once for once and we'll be using this pod. So let's get started. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll close this Okay, first of all, I'll click on this folder and say show in finder and close Xcode and I will close the simul uh, simulator as well. And I will open up my terminal and here I'll increase the size. Let's increase the size. So here I will say CD for change directory and I will drag and drop this folder here. So uh, this is like I'm basically inside the main project which has like one folder and one XC code project or something. So make sure you drag and drop that folder, this folder and just hit enter. So I'll clear this. If you LS, you will see bunch of stuff. Basically this is changing directory into this. We need to come out of this. So I will just say, I'll clear it first and I will just say CD dot dot so that I am out of it. Uh, so you basically need to be in the first folder, like the project folder. So, okay. okay. So just the easiest way to test it is just type ls and you should get only two stuff. Okay. And now here I will say pod init. And now if I ls, I will see three stuff and you can see that here one pod file is created. So I will type in command open pod file and here I will get this text editor. So. Uh, let me see if I can increase this size. Yes, I can. So under pod for IQ keyboard manager, basically this is my project name. So it can be different for you. Uh, don't don't mess around with anything else. So just go back to this website and scroll down and search where it says like installation and under Swift 4.0 or whatever it is at that time you are watching the video. So just copy this part. I'll just copy and uh, paste it in this text editor uh, which is which says pod file and here it says edited as well so I'll just hit command s so that it saves 
and now I can close the editor and again let's hop over to terminal and type in one last command which is pod install and hit enter and you will see a bunch of stuff happening make sure you do see this installing uh, IQ keyboard manager swift if you don't see this just go back and copy this and try 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 running the last command again which is pod install so here I'm done with the terminal part so I would one more thing guys so here if I ls okay let's hope yeah uh, here I'm in the project folder uh, basically when we open up our Xcode project we tend to open up this file uh, this file but whenever you use coca pods you uh, after installing the first pod you never use the normal file you use xc workspace file which is like white with a so just double click here and here you will see uh, iq keyboard manager uh, so that's my project name and pods is the coca pods and here you will get one warning uh, so just click on the warning and click on this again and just say perform changes okay it will just fix it automatically doesn't matter and uh, for for once hit command B it will build the project and now uh, now hit command shift and K to clean the project and let's do command B uh, command B once again so that it builds again so it seems like our pod is working because we are not getting any warnings or errors so I'll change this uh, output device to iPhone 7 plus and I will click here which says IQ keyboard manager folder and here inside app delegate I will import and which is IQ keyboard manager hit enter so if you still don't get this IQ keyboard manager swift like if you don't get it it auto complete like if you type IQ keyboard and you don't see it here uh, just hit command B so that it recognizes your pod and hit enter uh, it should like whenever you are programming in Xcode always use autocomplete like it's good you know you are doing it right okay so here I will create one manager object so manager is equal to IQ keyboard manager dot shared and below that I will just say manager dot enable okay if you remember uh, so manager dot enable is equal to true and let's run the application and see the magic yeah literally two like two lines of code it will fix the big problem so this is the basic implementation uh, you can just stop watching this video uh, from uh, this part but if you still want to learn some more customizations uh, you can watch the video till then so just waiting for the application to load but I know it's fixed <laughs> yeah so the iPhone has loaded and here is our application so now whenever I click on this let's say this text field it automatically elevates the text field above the keyboard so that you always see what you are typing so a bunch of stuff uh, let's copy this let's select everything and hit copy and click here and paste you still see, see the stuff and uh, you do get this bunch of arrows which if you click down you go down so to the next text field to the next text field and you can hit done as well so this means that okay we are done and if you click on the last text field it elevates the whole uh, view so that you see the text field so that's a great part and this is the fix so if you want to learn more customization so just stick around uh, so let's start with if you want to change button text so basically here it says done you can change that too here uh, you need to type in manager dot toolbar uh, toolbar done bar button item text and here you will say equal to and here I will say hide and let's run the application and see how it looks so here it is and if I click here we see hide uh, what if you don't want this toolbar at all what you can do is you can say manager dot enable auto toolbar is equal to false and run the application again uh, but 
here you will face one problem uh, which is if you click here the keyboard does come up and it does elevate the text field but there is no way to disable the keyboard so if you click bunch of returns it will just go down so uh, you need some way to close the keyboard or hide the keyboard so uh, a good way is to click somewhere else on the screen so in order to enable that we need to type in one more line which is manager dot should resign okay uh, should resign on touch outside and just set it to true and run the application one once again and we should be able to see that and if you click here you don't get the toolbar if you click outside it hides the toolbar uh, what if you don't want the clicks so basically this auto toolbar has clicks if you want to disable the click sound so manager dot should it should play input clicks is equal to false and this will stop playing the input clicks uh, you can run and test it out uh, I cannot actually show you this uh, show this to you on the video I'll have to take my microphone out <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can test this out. So uh, let's disable all of this, all all of this stuff, and move along. Uh, yeah, one more nifty feature is manager dot keyboard distance from text field. So basically, the distance of keyboard from the text field. So let's bump it up to eighty and run the application, and you will see a significant dif difference between the text field and the keyboard. Uh, okay so it's a hundred it's it's really a big distance let's try on the last text field so it's a big distance uh, I have noticed that on iPhone X uh, this module is facing some problem uh, you can use this line to fix it so you can just say manager dot keyboard distance from text field and just increase it to some number uh, so that you get a sweet spot and the best one uh the best customization which uh, i have found till now is this one which is manager uh so <laughs> manager dot keyboard appearance yeah uh yeah first is manager dot override override keyboard appearance and set it to true and now i will say manager dot keyboard appearance is equal to dot and change it to dark and run and you will see amazing dark looking keyboard and if you click here you get this keyboard and hide you click here you see this so uh, if you notice one thing here you will see the placeholder if I go down here I'll, I'll get the placeholder so what if you want to disable that if you want to disable that you will type in manager dot should toolbar uh yeah should show toolbar placeholder and just set it to false and run the application and you will not get the placeholder so uh i click here and i don't get the placeholder so yeah uh, and there are a bunch of other options you for you to play around you can just type manager and hit dot and you will get all this stuff so a big vast stuff to explore and you can also go to their coca pod like search for iq keyboard manager swift and you can read all this stuff um, there is a good video tutorial by rebel Oper, uh, which they suggest as well so you can go through that and uh, i i highly recommend you read through this anyways if you like my video thumbs up if you have any questions post them in comments and don't forget to subscribe for future videos until next time.